you guys doing? So, I decided after joking around with my kids when they told me I should play this, we're going to be playing Dream Daddy. A daddy's dating, I think daddy dating simulator? So, it's Dream Daddy. Dad? Dad, wake up! Ugh, wake up. Pretend to be dead. Five more minutes! Oh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad! This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This, this is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. <sighs> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room floor, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Daddy tip, that quirky lab assistant from NCIS reminds me of you. Build that dad. <gasps> Build that dad! Woohoo! We can. Alright, let's create a dad. Let's create. Alright, let's see. I want something that. Uh, I do now. Uh uh. No, I, I kind of like this one. Shadow, no shadow. Now shadow, ew. <sighs> okay, so let's look. We can do a man bun. Oh, goodness gracious, the man bun. Seriously. <sighs> okay, so we got quite a bit to choose from. Do red hair now. <laughs> oh, we could, oh, yeah. No, not the white. Definitely not. <gasps> no way. Seriously? Goku hair! Anyways. I really like this one. I really, really like this one. Out of all of them, I don't like that one. Yeah, not the curly cue. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's choose hair color. Mm. Is this the closest thing to blue they have? Oh, it's not even really blue. It's like teal. I want to get a blue, but I guess we'll go with that one for right now. Oh. My god, cool eyes. Oh gosh, yes, 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 yes. I'm so... Oh, they got hearts for eyes. No. Definitely the kawaii eyes. Definitely. Most definitely. Oh, God, no, that no. Oh, uh, what? None of these no's really look... <laughs> this is like the closest one, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so I think I'm pretty well gonna go with this one. Alright, okay, we're gonna give his eye, his brows the same color because it just would not look right. Nope. Uh -huh. Okay, so no. No, no. Yeah, we're gonna give... I don't know if I can find a pair then. Mm, none of them really suit him though, so I guess not. Oh gosh, really? <laughs> what? Um, don't really care. Oh, 
goodness. Okay, I guess we'll go with the ear piercing. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hamburger! I kind of like that one. Uh, yeah, I'm... Flowers. <gasps> oh, stars. Oh, but I kind of like this one. I kind of like the suit. Oh gosh, which one? Oh, I don't know! I mean, this one kind of shows... The chisel, chis- the chisel. Oh my god. <laughs> Chiseled features of the daddy. But, I like this one. It's okay. I'm looking good. Oh. Be that bad. Okay, so oh. all right, we're just gonna call him Mr. Knight. Be that dad. Be that dad. Dad tip number six. Don't trust anyone who likes their meat well done. Dad, you fell asleep packing? Or did you oh my god? Did you fall asleep packing? Not most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler, straggler, blah, 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 blah. what's in it? Looking into a box, looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Oh, I pull out the one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, that's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Huh? Oh, the only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. You know what? We're gonna do this. It is a daddy dating simulator after all, so I... Well, the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? <laughs> Oh my god, that dragon costume, <laughs> you couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both, princess dragon. <laughs> Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized that you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the, the dragon's mouth was realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Oh, right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. <laughs> and this was your horse face. Uh -huh. Dan! I believe you named the plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't think I, I don't think that was his Amanda lunges for the photo but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms yeah nice try but this important blackmail for this Nice try. This is important blackmail for later down the road. Nah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in Skyband. Ouch, kid. Huh. The Skyminist sc <laughs> Manifesto had a chance back in the day. Ha had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad. 
That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. <laughs> Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly, I will never stop mixing those uh, mixing those two Aww. up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Because <sighs> those are all just great choices. <laughs> Lighter fluid tennis ball tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Aww. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Eh? Anyway... I gotta show this to Emma R later. She's gonna get a kick out of it. The, the first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and I got us a $20 gift card to Mitchell's Fridays. Hey! And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blast. I think you mean food poisoning. Poisoning. You know, with a Z? Aww. Dad! Still, I can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last huh? photo. Aww. Neither of us says say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Finally, I decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what, we, what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh -huh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for a little longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. <laughs> Pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This music. Oh my gosh. Seriously, though, guys. This music is just, like, freaking awesome. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember when I started... <laughs> or, hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You had very strong arms. Hey, I remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows. You were very... You were a very imaginative child. Oh my gosh. I do not know. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I would. Oh, oh. Talk about testing patients. Uh, most definitely. Alright. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh. And there'll be plenty of more stuff to break. For me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to okay. break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I catch, I watch my daughter grow up in this house. 
he'll ever, it will, it will oh, she's a lease, guys, I can't even talk. <laughs> it will forever hold a place in my heart, but it strings a little bit, it stings a little bit to have to, to, oh my gosh, guys, ugh, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our old house disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? Hmm. So set me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in the beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features Oh, honey, you have, have you ever had dirty clothes? For most of my life, yes. Well, worry no longer. Our new place features mechan- Oh my gosh. <laughs> that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them directly after. Hmm. An upper class luxury, I fear. I don't know why that had a twang to it. <laughs> The concept of clean clothes is no longer in the hands of the fat cats upstairs, sweetie. Anyway, it'll, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. We will be closer to a lot of cool stuff and we can walk, that we can walk to. So, I don't have to waste gas? I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Okay. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met, have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's the item? Oh my gosh. So what's item one on our new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery mm. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll do some work. We'll get some work done, and then we'll check out the area. We'll check the area out. <coughs> oh my gosh. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown. It's supposed to be freshly mown. <laughs> and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Hiya! With a, and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Oh. Man, all that karate chopping, tucking me out. I really, I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m.
We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you see? We need as much as as much as I would like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right now. But we got work to do, kiddo, and we need to make it snappy because there are five silk crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom, and I gotta pee real bad. Well. Don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank <laughs> of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks, stand in your way. Let's get to it. Dad tip number 20. Keep your word. I think that's a pretty good dad tip. Can, can I just... 13... It, it, Okay. Oh my gosh. Shark Tank. Okay. I get to work unpacking various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass. I get some I get some good work done. Washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying as we actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Well, er, well, hello? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I am your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi, I'm... Mr. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow! Cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Huh. Well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are so tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just... tough. I hear that. I mean, there has to be something wrong with you. You try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Uh, oh, uh, uh I mean... Oh. Don't worry. You seem, You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and, er, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> we stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically. Quiz oh my gosh, here we go again, quizzically. But comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge <laughs> smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I am throwing a barbecue for the cul de sac. And I'd love for you to. 
come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter and Amanda... Uh, my, <laughs> my daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. If <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I will see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Yeah, sure thing, neighbor. Mm. Joseph starts to walk away but stops to think for a second and turn around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can, can't can be easy. If you ever need to talk, if you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm in the youth minister. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I really never considered myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I guess it's because I keep clicking over. It. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and a cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I have ever seen. I should be taking note. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh. They're gone. I'm sorry. All right. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Say so you ate all of them anyway. Uh. Anyway. It, that is so... Yep. That is so a kid right there. He, they weren't that great, but I'm gonna eat them. In, I'm gonna eat them all anyways. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Uh, let's get some fresh air. I could use some coffee. Joseph probably wants his plate back. Uh, I could use some coffee. I'm feeling a little sluggish, and coffee seems seems like the more responsible option than just taking a nap. But I'm proud of you. Uh, Dad tip number 32. You can't huh. beat the whammy bar. Seriously, guys. This music. <sighs> We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this place in this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else to drink coffee on a couch <laughs> when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's still very much within my personal zone. Mm -hmm. Dad, and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you get up and set it on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you just leave it there and, you, and your, face, your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is back a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk? Who left their mug? Dad, Dad, why are you? Why are you? Well, she's Louise. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. <laughs> I so feel him. I, I so feel it. Right? He, totally. We walk inside. Huh? The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Final records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn cushions. Some cool tunes spin in on a record player 
next to a little stage. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Oh, what's with the name? Oh, oh it's uh uh it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it would be a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. <clears throat> but people, but people ask me a question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling. And I am sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now and I can't stop. Hey. Uh, okay, so what'll it be? Oh. Scan the chalkboard menu and immediately become <laughs> and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. Uh, Godspeed, you black coffee. <laughs> Iced tea, Ganesara, a chai amp board. <gasps> oh, he got heart. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed, you black emperor, is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and I'm doing the thing again. Oh. But coming right up, mm. and for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up, do you want a small, medium, <laughs> Do you want that in a small, medium, <clears throat> or biggie smalls? Uh, medium? Wait, biggie smalls? Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sits out making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Yeah. Let the man make his puns. He's they're way cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey, hey, this guy was cool once. This guy is actually pretty comfortable, pretty comfy, and maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. A good lumbar, a good good lumbar support. You just sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on! What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside. And also don't go outside and, and also don't talk to people. Huh. See? We're making progress. Oh my gosh. Matt sits Matt the Oh my gosh. Matt sits the drinks down on the table and immediately I burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm a man and this is my dad, mister. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be coming. Well, may I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from underneath the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Yeah, sounds great. You know what? Let me give you guys. Let me get your guys' opinion on something. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh. <clears throat> Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey, yeah. 
I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste it first, so can we, uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... <laughs> Amanda nods vigorously and she knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread <laughs> that nana bread a taste if you want us doing if you want us doing free creative labor. I think we would be uh, oh my gosh, I did it again. Ugh. Goodness gracious, Amanda. I guess not that. <laughs> I've taught her well. <laughs> we have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free, er, free, free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes, that. Matt serves us each piece, and Amanda and I happily chow down. <gasps> this is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is banana. Who would have thought banana bread's and secret ingredient was bananas? Hmm. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? So, so, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I might be, <laughs> I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns. But I think I'll give it a shot. Okay, banana bread kidney, Kennedy, banana bread kidneys, <laughs> banana bread kid, Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, right said banana. Oh, I like right said bread, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would would like it despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. <laughs> okay. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying, leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See? But, see? It sounds good when you say it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Across the way, a man catches my eye, sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet for just a moment. That must be him right there. A little rugged, but hey, I love the hair, though. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full, full of caffeine, where to? I need a nap. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now, all aboard the train to Sleepy Town Junction. Oh my gosh, really? Dad tip 75, call someone if you're thinking about them, they probably would hear from you. Oh my god. As we're walking home, I hear footsteps coming up behind us. Mr. Bro. Hey. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Can we just like take a minute and look at that dad? Uh, oh my gosh. <sighs> I turned around and get this greeted by a familiar face as a job. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this video right here. If you guys like this video, show that like button some love. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and slam the notification bell right next to it so you can get notified for when I upload. Be sure to follow me on my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all updates. 
and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I am so excited to play the next part of this on the next episode so hope you guys have a wonderful day and a or evening and I will catch you guys later. Bye!